In a previous video, we already looked at how we could copy and paste attributes from one clip to another here in DaVinci Resolve. But there's another way we can do this called adjustment layers. Another way we can do this so we don't have to redo our work because that slows us down. So we're gonna use the same clips that we used in that previous video. And we're gonna do basically the same stuff, but just in a different way. So as you remember probably from that previous video, uh, for our clips here, we scaled her up here in our inspector and then copy and pasted those attributes, right? Well, instead of doing it on both clips, this time we're gonna come here to our effects library, come down here to toolbox and effects and just grab an adjustment clip. Now an adjustment clip, I'm just gonna drop it right on top here on a different video track. An adjustment clip is like an adjustment layer in Premiere Pro or like putting an effect in a blank area of MIDI Composer. MIDI Composer is almost like all the video tracks are kind of like adjustment uh, adjustment layers. But let's do this here. We'll select our adjustment clip, come to our inspector, and we're gonna scale her up. As you can see, effect adjustment clip right there. We're gonna scale her up the same way we did previously, about 1.4. Cool, play that back. Looks good, but of course it ends, you know, right there. So all we need to do is stretch it out. And there we go. All right, so to affect the next clip here that we have in the sequence, I don't need to copy and paste anything. I can just drag this one clip out. And of course, because it's just our zoom, right? Boom, exactly same level right there. No copy and pasting, you know, uh, of attributes uh, in this way here. All right, another cool thing about adjustment clips let me show our media pool here. I can take this clip here, I can drop it right into my bin, and now I can use that uh, like an effect or like a clip or like a video clip and apply that anywhere I want on my timeline. So if I wanted the same zoom level, again, something pretty simple here, and I wanted that on this clip over here, I can just grab it, drop it right on top, and now she's scaled up. And we'll do what we did in the previous video to this clip as well. As you remember, we had her slide in on this clip here and then had her slide in over here as well. We're gonna do the same thing, but this time just with an adjustment clip. We grab it, throw it in here, and I want her on screen about, say there. So open up our inspector, and make sure I have my adjustment clip selected. We're just gonna do position. So go ahead and turn on my keyframe and my playhead, pull it back, and then go ahead and move her off a of screen, then play this back. Boom, slides right in just like we did previously, except we're not actually uh, affecting the clip. We're just affecting our adjustment layer or our adjustment clip. All right, so now if I want her to slide in over here as well, I can just alt drag a copy of that right over there. Boom, slides right in. Again, I can save that in my media pool if I needed to. Also down here, you probably remember that we used an effect. So instead of putting that effect directly on the actual clip, let's just grab an adjustment layer first. We'll throw it right on top. And for now, just stretch it across the entire clip there. Come back here to our effects and I want the open effects and we'll grab the same one we had last time, which was this abstraction. I'll put it on my adjustment clip this time. Select my adjustment clip, open my inspector, and then go ahead, head to open effects, and then we'll just tune up our effect here however we want. And that looks pretty cool. Close down our inspector, and that of course is applied to our clip. But of course, when we get to the next clip, it's not applied. So again, all we have to do is copy this. So I'll just hold on Alt and just drag a copy right over. And there we go. We have that applied. Or of course, I really didn't need to do that uh, since these clips are adjacent to each other. In that case, I could just grab this and drag it across. And of course, it's applied to both clips. I could, let me grab my razor tool. I'm gonna cut this area, cut this area. Say, cut this area, cut this area. Cut about here, then cut about here, okay? Then I can say, delete some of these cuts in between here. So then we can have our effect be on and then off and then on, as you can see right there, which might be uh, kind of cool for some effects uh, 
that you want to sort of automate in, in a way on and off just by using your adjustment clip. And of course, if I like this effect that I have, media pool, let me grab it and just throw it right in here. I can of course give it a name, call this um, you know, style or something like that so I know what it is. And then if I'm over another clip and I'm like, you know, I want that same style, well, I don't need to head back to my effects library, my abstraction, my inspector, all that stuff. All I need to do, man, is grab my style right here, my effect that I set up, drop it right in, let me trim it up, and then we have that same exact effect applied. Super easy, doesn't look good on her, but uh, as you can tell, that's how you can uh, easily, easily do that with your adjustment layers or adjustment clips, as they're called here, in DaVinci Resolve. Oh.